Alright, what's up guys, you react train here, and today's video is going to be a little bit different than all my other videos made. This time we're going to be talking about some lately drama. Yeah, you know drama. Drama. But anyway, this drama is starting to get really annoying. Even though, know, like, now you got, like, these hackers getting into it and stuff. But it's starting to get really annoying because all, that's all I see over Twitter sometimes. But now it's all about the Olympics. And that drama is between... Leafy is beef. I mean, Leafy is here, and Killer, Kill Yourself Star. Yeah, th those two. And you, if you don't know, um, this guy named Eki, he made a video about Leafy saying that um, he was buying sub, so that's sub body. And then uh, Kim Star posted a drama alert video saying that this was all true, saying that um, freaking Leafy told him that there was a website to go by and he said he was definitely a good person not to do it and he only tells the truth that was so i watched that and i cringed so hard you had no idea how cringed i like i cringed so hard i couldn't believe what i just heard killer keemstar that was completely a bullshit like thing you just said you are not a good person <laughs> you call alex a nigger and Alex is probably cool. You told Ryan somebody to kill themselves. And also, you were a racist piece of shit that told, like, black people that you run this well because you're white. What the fuck? Dude, no. You, you, what? <laughs> kill, killer King Star, you're generally, literally a piece of shit. Like, on the side of the road. And I, I bet, like, some homeless guy just, like, just took a crap right there. That was it. Meanwhile, on Leafy's side, now you got these hackers now freaking saying that this is all true. They got his email and stuff. I mean, like, man, it's it's been it's getting pretty crazy. So like, I I I'm not really excited to see the future because I love Leafy and I really hope like this doesn't turn out bad. But I'm gonna try to stay as unbiased as possible. But like, freaking um, Leafy said he's gonna sue Keemstar. I mean, that's that's pretty much everybody like wants to do that but you know i mean they probably don't have the money to hire a lawyer or anything but this is really big this is a big topic but i'm gonna talk about like why it's annoying to me and uh yeah let's get right into it so how this bullshit all started it all started by this little youtuber named eki now, Eki decided to upload a video called Leafy Expo- I don't even know what the title was called, but he uploaded a video and it said 99% proof. And what it pretty much was is that he uh, came up with a theory that Leafy was subbotting or buying subs. So that means Leafy, those subs were fakes, so pretty much all his fans or subs were fake, they're just bots, that was it. But then after that, a couple days later, how, what, how I really have been really, just how long he uploaded it, he uploaded one that said it was a hundred percent, a hundred percent proof, hundred percent, so that means nothing could be wrong, right, right, so after he uploaded that, people started freaking believing him, and like, oh my god, he's right, he's right, Leafy's a freaking faker, why did we even subscribe to him? But then, as it soon as died down, people started calling him out for us, people started saying it was fake and stuff, and I, I actually honestly thought it was fake, because, you know, people start... Little YouTubers try to pick up big YouTubers to expose them, you know, it's 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 pretty much what YouTube is nowadays. But a couple of days later, freaking he up people exposed him. It was fake. It was freaking fake. People like saw like proved how it was fake. They like put it pretty much a picture of Leafy and then they put the link right on the picture. So if you clicked on the picture, it would lead to his channel. Like it, 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 it was pretty much fake. It was pretty much fake. It was all freaking bullshit. But literally, like, I don't know why this guy did it, but then he uploaded a video saying he's apologizing Leafy. But I bet Leafy was pissed. But then there was this one YouTuber. One big dick bag decided to upload a video saying that this was all true. <laughs> 
Yeah, after Eki's like apology video saying that you started a leafy killer kill yourself come star gnome lord decided to make a video calling leafy out saying that this was all true then when he was leave with friends with leafy back then that leafy told him that there was this website that he can buy likes and subs like subscribers and then he freaking says that he only tells the truth he only tells the truth okay, guys guys he, he only tells the truth and he's a good person that say no, he didn't go to that website. <laughs> and then he starts posting on Twitter, like saying like Leafy you're fake, faker, bitch, blah 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 blah. Cause pretty much it was like his only chance to ever get back at Leafy because Leafy has freaking like calling him out on his shit and stuff. So it's pretty much his chance to get back at Leafy. Try to take over Leafy. Control him. Oh god, that okay. Never mind. It, I mean, ugh, that sounded really weird. Uh, so it's like, so pretty much like all of his drama alert fans were freaking gonna be attacking Leafy, calling him out. So then a few days after this all happened, Leafy decided to upload his f like his f I think fourth and final rant about Killer Keemstar, and at the end he says he was gonna freaking sue him. Like, I mean. He was looking. He was like talking to some lawyers because it was slender. It was a pretty strong case, and I agree with Leafy. I mean, like Keemstar has slender a bunch of people, but then, but then, but then, freaking Keemstar posted on Twitter. If you have ever freaking been like harassed by Leafy or blah 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 blah, then hit him up. We'll file. We'll file a suit or something. Like, oh my God, he's like gonna try to get back at Leafy. But then he decided to post this fucking Twitter video right here. Leafy, uh, you told me that you knew a website, all right, where you could bot the likes to make the dislikes not look so bad. That's what you fucking told me, bro. So sue me. Go ahead, sue me. That's the fucking truth. And what, do you think because you're threatening to sue me, I'm going to stop saying it? Sue me, motherfucker. I don't give a fuck. Even if I lose the suit, I'm still telling the world what you said because you fucking said it. Like, I like how he's trying to fight it. Like, make it look like that leaf he said it, even though probably he didn't say it. It's just that Keemstar's probably trying to get back at him. Okay? Keemstar, you would be the person that would actually do this, because I don't think your channel's doing good. Oh my god, I see the comments on your videos saying, like, Oh my god, Keem, I was here since the 1 million, well, 1.7 million subscribers. Congratulations on 1.4 or what a blah, blah blah blah. Like, I don't think your channel's doing good. So I feel like you would be that person that would actually freaking like buy the likes and subscribers to so to say that people are like don't give a crap about you anymore. Okay, because I I swear this is like so cringe worthy. Because I bet Keemstar is actually like, literally like really scared. So, but pretty much that's what's been going on with Keemstar and Leafy. But then a couple days later, this is what happened. So then a couple days later, Leafy actually got hacked by these two big hacking groups, or one of them, I don't remember, but one for sure was now the famous hacking group called Poodle Corp. And Poodle Corp has hacked a lot of big things, of big YouTubers, even like freaking porn. But freaking and then i think armine hacked them too i'm not sure but um yeah it was pretty big like they also like released these emails that leafy had of uh, saying that he can't wait to move out of freaking utah he can't like because he, he just it's a mormon state and stuff and then uh and then another email says that he confirmed the purchase of the bots the sub botting thing and yeah, people started going crazy now, starting to believe that Keemstar was right. But then, like, I, I, then it was just, there was just me. Like, I feel like these were fake emails. Like, I, I'm not going to be trying to, like, hit at Poodle Court because I don't want to be too much of a douche because they could hack me and I don't want that. But it could have been fake. They could be fake emails. Like, freaking, it, they could have just written those emails and made it, like, Leafy's email. So... We don't know yet, but that that's what could happen, but um, keep people started believing Keemstar now. So, pretty much, that's that's what's been going on, pretty much, between Leafy versus Keemstar. Now I'm going to tell you why all this, to me, is annoying and freaking bullshit. 
So the reason why this is all bullshit slash annoying to me is because it's freaking pretty obvious what's going on. Keemstar is obviously a liar, dude. It's not true that Leafy's subbotting and but I mean it, it could be possible. It could be true. Like it could be true. But it's freaking it's bullshit. Like people are starting to believe Keemstar. It's not true. Dude, Keemstar has lied to us and slander people and swatter people. Dude, it, it, it's pretty obvious that this is freaking all freaking not true. And Keemstar's just trying to get back at Leafy. Dude, it's freaking obvious. And then, like, I'm gonna make a... <laughs> and it's obvious that Eki's part of Poodle Corp are Armine. Because as soon as freaking Poodle Corp and Armine got onto this, is after Eki uploaded those videos. So it's pretty obvious that Eki... I'm just joking, Eki. I'm sorry. I'm just joking with you. But pretty much... For pretty much today... It's all freaking Keemstar lying and stuff, and Leafy could have been subbotting, but it's pro probably not true. It's just Keemstar, dude. And then Poodle Corp could be lying here, but let's just don't mess with Poodle Corp because they are really strong. But then overall today, pretty much that's it for today's video, because overall, Keemstar's a liar, and this could all be fake, and um, Leafy's probably not subbotting, or could be. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was a little bit different than all my other videos, like gaming videos, talk videos. I'm going to be having a story time video, uh, I, I say in a couple more days, because I want to talk to you a story that happened just like like a couple months ago, happened at my house. It was pretty funny. But overall, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and yeah. And if you like today this video and my content, why not subscribe to join the train of Erratic. But anyway, I'm out. Choo-choo. Peace. I am the one, the way your son don't need a gun to get respect up on the street. Under the sun, the bastard son will pop the clock to feed himself and family. By any means, your enemies, my enemies, we wet them up like a canteen. The yellow tank surrounds the face, don't have a face, so now you lay up in the gates. Great, eliminate like a lemonade.